What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you do yourself a favor. Hit the like button and the subscribe button for more. Now I'm on Premier Boxing Champs, their verified official Instagram account. And then some disappointing news, at least to me. Danny Garcia, he's been linked to fight possibly Andre Berto. Then that fell apart. They said John Molina Jr. instead of Berto. That fell apart. And it seems to be getting worse because some people weren't even content with the Berto fight. I didn't have a problem with that. I think stylistically that made for an action style. Danny Garcia being slow, Berto fast both off of wins one's undefeated Berto has pop you know what i mean so stylistically i didn't really mind the matchup then they said it was john molina john molina is my dude so i was like okay cool but now it's like there's nothing else that could be said like i like danny garcia and he gets a i don't think people give him a fair shake in terms of his resume what he's done but this is a little bit ridiculous to me because danny garcia you're you're supposed to progress instead of regress and then it's been a little bit shaky some wins and stuff post lucas matisse lucas matisse i picked garcia to beat him a lot of people thought i was crazy and he was getting knocked out that's not what happened but since that he's kind of been it's like up and down some shaky performances versus herrera peterson and this whole time i defended danny garcia i like danny garcia but i don't understand the way he's being handled right now in terms of he fought robert guerrero in january fought paulie malinaji before that and he's been absent almost a year now, you know what I mean? Because it was at the beginning of the year in January when he fought Guerrero. Then he's having a hometown fight, supposed to be Berto. Then it was John Molina. Now, Danny Garcia returns to the ring November 12th in his hometown of Philadelphia when he takes on Columbia's Samuel Vargas on PBC on Spike. Check PBC website for full fight details. And I'm like, I I'll give you guys a true story. When they announced this, I read it wrong, you know, it was on my phone, and I got the new iPhone, but I guess it was too small, I'm getting old or something, my vision, and I thought it was Sammy Vasquez, who's coming up for loss, and I was like, oh, cool, that's 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 not bad, you know what I mean, because the only person to beat him is Felix Diaz, and then I went back and reread it, and it wasn't Sammy Vasquez, it was Samuel Vargas, and I'm like, what, who is that, you know what I'm saying, so you go to Danny Garcia's box rec, it's already listed, and I don't see how Berto or John Molina Jr. got passed to fight this guy. He's been, I don't even know who he is, to be honest. I mean, he's tatted. That's cool. He's been knocked out before. That's not good. He has a 46% knockout ratio. That's below average. He's pretty tall, long reach. But it's like, who is this guy? So, Cesar Chavez. Oh, I, oh wow. I, I misread it. So he's fighting a guy Errol Spence Jr. beat last year. Makes no sense. Errol Spence Jr. was still re and until recently in the prospect stage, right? So why would you be fighting, quote unquote, and I don't like doing this, but why would you be fighting, quote unquote, Errol Spence Jr. leftover? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys are at two different points of your career. You actually have champions, former champions, Eric Morales, Lucas Matisse, Amir Khan, Zab Judah. You got those names on your resume. You know what I mean? Errol Spence is still trying to build up to that. And you're fighting someone he knocked out last year. Wow. And then he already lost to whoever this guy is, Pablo from Narcos. Crazy. Let me know what you guys think of Danny Garcia. I don't know why they would pick a person like this for this point of Danny Garcia's career. And I didn't make a video about it, but there were... There were thoughts that he was going to fight Sam Eggington or something. And I didn't make a video because what's the point of making a video about a fight that didn't happen? If he picked it, I would have made a video about it. But, I mean, <laughs> this is just crazy. I don't know why this would be selected. And I don't think Danny Garcia, a lot of people, his style is the style that makes you feel you can beat him. So I don't think he's being ducked like a Errol Spence Jr. or Golovkin or a guy like that like guys whether they're right or wrong they think they can beat him so i don't think it would be that hard if you pay the person a good amount of money something fair to get people in the ring with danny garcia you know what i'm saying because even though he can prove you wrong people are still willing to fight him i would have loved a felix diaz fight like i said sammy vasquez would have been better than this 
obviously Keith Thurman and Errol Spence and mega fights with Sean Porter and stuff like that would be great. Amir Khan, but Amir Khan's hands in, is injured. Like, it just makes no sense to me. Berto, John Molina, Josecito Lopez. I would prefer that than this. So Danny Garcia and team making it very hard to defend a matchup like this. Again, I can't see any reason why this would be the prime match. And the thing I don't understand is... When fighters have hometown fights, how come it's always the worst fight for that person? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you think the people of that person's region want to see them in a good fight? Like, even, like, let's say Kell Brook versus Golovkin. That was a good fight for the, the Londoners and the guys from Sheffield and the, the UK fans. That At least on paper, you know what I mean? People were amped up about it. But there's a lot of fights that happen in people's hometown, and they're not good. Like, let's get back to the hometown fights like Lamont Peterson when he fought Amir Khan in his hometown of D.C. That's a good fight for your hometown. But you're you're charging the, your people in your, in your community where you came up to see fights that they don't even want to see. Like, you know what I mean? Treat them to something. Like, get a better opponent in there. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like my videos. As always, hey, comment and subscribe to the next video's ego. Signing off.